Hello YouTube, I just thought I'd do a, well introduce my old mug here and do a quick um, pickups video. A few games I've picked up, a lot of Xbox 360, PS3 and PS4 games. Um, so without further ado, I'll start off with the first one which is Child of Eden. Um, I've been meaning to get this game for a while, I've heard it's some kind of spiritual successor to Res, which I really enjoyed on the Dreamcast and the PS2. But um, what's better than one copy of Child of Eden? Two copies! Yeah, I've made a bit of a balls up on eBay. Um, I got it, I think I popped £3.50, £3.60 was the first one. And I thought, oh, I'll have some of that. And went to um, buy it now. And it's for some reason it says the quantity, which was one, um, wasn't available. So I thought, oh, maybe somebody's beat me to it. And it wouldn't let us go through to pay now. So I ended up getting the next cheapest one, which was about £3.70 and yeah next thing i know i get two emails saying yeah thank you for your purchase or whatever so i've got two copies this one was the more expensive one it's got the manual which is always good uh, but the box is falling to bits so i guess i'll be swapping it with this one this was the cheaper one but it um, doesn't have a manual and um, so yeah um it's not, i think i'll just be keeping all of these probably swap the boxes round I wouldn't send it back, it isn't really the seller's fault, um, it's my fault and as it was only three quid, even though I suppose technically it's cost me six quid, um, yeah, it's not their fault. Um, so yeah, a bit of gameplay footage in, in the corner for all those that want you to see, so good stuff. Um, the next one I got, I bought a new beer and it's Death Smiles Deluxe Edition. And this has got manual and game. Um, I think I paid about 8 quid for this. I do like my shmups, or shoot em ups. Um, it is something I've been meaning to try out, and um, yeah, I don't know what the difference is between this and the, why this is the deluxe edition. Oh, yeah. It's got some kind of desktop accessory which I'll have to try out. I've, so, yeah, but once again, a little bit of gameplay somewhere. I don't know where I've put it on the video yet. Uh, but yeah, give you an option to just see what that's like. Right, we'll move on to the PS3, and um, yeah, this is a fun game. This is Puppeteer, and it's <laughs> it's such a charming little game. I uh, really, I really just like the the environment that it's in. It's like obviously um, a stage show. Um, I'm sure my age now, but it reminds me of a game. I think it was called Mr. Punch on the C64, where you played a punch, punch, well, punch and Judy. And you have to get from one side of the screen to the other and avoid obstacles. It's just like a more. It's just like the Antidotes, basically. It's really nice game. The way the audience interacts with what you're doing, it's it really is captivating. And uh, anybody who likes the platformers, definitely give this a shot. Um, step into the theatre of fantasy, and it's yeah, it's it's a lovely little game. Though. Good for the kids. Although it has got a 12 rating. I suppose it is. It could be a little bit scary for young kids in a way. Who knows? Next game I've got here is Civilization Resolu Resolution Revolution. Um, I always like the premise of Civilization games. Um, I don't know if it's because I don't know what I'm doing with them or I just haven't got the patience. But I've never really managed to stay in a, a good game into it. I've heard this is like Civilization Light. As in, oh, so I'm hoping that it actually, I can get into it. I mean, anything with turn-based strategy and things like that, I just, I do find it a bit of a turn-off, really. But hopefully I'll actually get a gain understanding of how to play this. Um, it seems to have a good tutorial, um, so I, that's as far as far as I've got with it. But hopefully, yeah, I'll be able to um, progress nicely and actually, because as I say, the, the premise of the game, it's really good. What better way than to actually get your civilization to be the most advanced, the fascist dictator that I am? <laughs> um, PS4 games now. Far Cry 4. I've played Far Cry 3. This has got a manual um, to, uh, disc in case you get. Um, really like Far Cry 3 on the PS3. Um, some of it was a bit laborious in the middle of it, but overall, yeah, I, I just thought it was a great game. Um, they always do really good evil villains, um, and 
what I've seen of him so far. You know, he's a bit of a turd. But yeah, um, yeah. So glad to have that in the collection. Uh, next to last is Shadow of Mordor. Um, I've been meaning to try this for a while. I don't know if there's meant to be a manual in there. It's hard to tell with these games these days. But I tell you what, I bought it from Game. If, I don't know. I'll make that stick again. And it says there, pre-owned, 19.99. Bullshit. Because um, it also did have a sticker on that on there saying three for two. Um, so you know, you pick two get well, pick three games, and you pay for the two most expensive. So I picked this, and I picked uh, Rocket League. Um, that was going for 19.99 as well. And also, oh god, what was the third game? It might have been Fag. No, if some of that was twenty pound, anyhow, I, I was thinking, oh, I'll get me money's worth. Turns out, uh, got to the counter in game, and um, he's ringing them through, and he's like, scans this one through, and he's like, oh, I'm going to have to get the manager. Manager comes down, turns out it's somebody I actually kind of know. I used to work with him, so I was thinking, oh well, hopefully uh, he'll be able to sort this out for us. And he says, oh, this is now. $22.99 um, so and uh, the manager says well we can um, give him staff discount and he says yeah but he's got it down as the 3 for 2 offer and he goes no I'm sorry we can't do that and I says why that's what it says he says yeah there's been a problem this should actually now be $22.99 like, but never mind um, and he says you can either pick another game for the offer and to be honest I was there for the just trying to find three games and I was like oh, and I was in a bit of a rush and I said oh well I don't want to pay £22 for that but I did want to try that game kind of panicked as well you know how it is and uh, he says oh well we'll do it for 19.99, which you know I bloody stick it on honestly if it's priced that way you should get it for that price but as I said because I kind of knew him I thought oh well, I can't kick up a stink and you know there's a few in the shops and uh, I just wanted to get out at the end of it and so I ended up paying 20 quid for this and then I looked on eBay and it was going for about 10 11 quid and the other two games I really can't remember what that third game was um, they were going for more or less the same price as what they was going in game so I would have been better off getting the other two and getting another game just buying that off eBay um, but you know that's life's lesson so I've never found not to go into the game store or well, at least my local store until they sort the price and policies out or bloody label things the right way wasting, wasting my bloody time but anyhow an, a game that I did actually look in game for and I kind of went home and bought it on eBay just to kind of justify that I was going to pay £40 for this game so I want you three good games for £40 so I paid £15 for Bloodborne um, that coupled with Far Cry which was £7 and that would have paid £20 for just slightly over the the 40 pound limit I had but you know I wanted I wanted some good games so a couple of fun starting to wonder why I've bought it I know it's meant to be really good and it does look really good but it's a from software game as you probably are aware and they are hard as tits and I just I played Demon's Souls and I did enjoy it and I, I just kind of hit a plateau halfway through and I just found it so frustrating um, I've also got Dark Souls 2 on the Xbox 360 which I haven't even bothered playing because I don't feel like I can play that until I've actually progressed more with Demon's Souls which I haven't played for about two years. I've done a bit of a playthrough um, on one of my earlier videos and I'm just still wondering how I'm going to beat that beast but maybe I'll go back to it. But I'm one of those people that I don't feel I can <laughs> go on to the next game until I can say yeah I'm completely finished with the, the prequels or whatever I know the, but the spiritual prequels shall we say um, but yeah I've got it anyhow but born there is some cards in here which uh, that's a great game uh, but little all else so and the disc so yeah um, and that's pretty much all I've got so far I will be getting some more games soon because yeah, I don't know I think I've got an addiction got a problem um, but yeah thanks for watching